Good morning, Gospel Life Church. Andrew Hickson here, and I am going to be reading from Psalm 30, if you want to turn there and follow along this morning. I thought it would be a fitting passage. Um, so we are finishing up the month of March very soon. Hopefully the snow and the ice will be gone for quite a while, um, one of these days. And um, you know, even personally speaking, obviously I've been through a lot um, the past few months, lost of a couple of close loved ones, and uh, this passage has, has spoken to me, and so I just wanted to share some encouragement with you as well. Psalm 30, verse 1. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up, and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said of my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry. And to the Lord I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. So David is speaking or singing this praise, the song of praise, at the dedication of the temple. And um, he is he's committed to um, speaking the goodness and the praise of God. He speaks of a God who is, um, is with us, God who is Emmanuel, which, you know, we celebrate that at Christmas, right? Uh, that, that idea of God coming to be with us physically. David didn't know that was going to happen in, in that way, but... It was um, a great picture of, of him coming. Um, a God who heals. He spoke for God who restores and shows mercy. And a God who produces joy. Right? We, we have joy, and it comes from him. David also reflects on a time in his life when he was a little overconfident, right? Back in verse 6, we see, as David says, As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. That's a little overconfident, right? And and we all feel that way, especially when things are going well. We we think, why do we need God? Or like maybe we don't physically say that, but we we think that in our heads, and we, we unconsciously live that way because we don't have we don't have the the needs that that we see in others around the world or through history. Uh, we, we are very comfortable, and if we don't need anything we don't need we provide our own food and at least we think we do um in our own um, our own finances then then we don't think we need god but but we do we and david realized that as god hid his face in verse seven um it wasn't that god wasn't present but god removed his awareness of his presence from david and and david felt left alone and, and, and without hope. And he turns in the end and, and he pleads for forgiveness. And in verse 11, he, he, verse 11 and 12, he gives the reason why, why God shows mercy. And it's interesting here. He says, you have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. So God provided his mercy. He lifted David up from his, his despair. In verse 12, why does he do this? He says that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. That's it. Like God wants our glory. He, he expects it. When he, when he does for us his works of grace and mercy, he expects us to sing his praises. And, and we should. Um, we, we have every obligation to, and God has every right to receive that praise. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. So let's remember that. Because um, we've all been in those low spots. 
and God has lifted us up out of many, many trials and tribulations. Um, so let's take take time to speak of his goodness and his grace and, and, and thanks for his, his goodness. Have a great day.